a huge pleasure for me to introduce the designer Alison Chitty and the director Stephen Langridge to talk a little bit about this new production um, of Parsifal. Um, there's a great deal I, I want to ask you about the piece and your take on it, but um, you've brought along, Alison, some slides of some of the earliest workings. How long ago did the process of working on this start? Um, two years, two and a half years, yeah, something like about that. Two and a half years. Well, these are very, very early. In fact, this is the journey of the models that we made, trying to find what we felt was the right world to sell, tell this story in. And if you have a look, there are elements which reappear and then become central, this cube. Keep, keep your eye on that cube, um, because they become uh, absolutely central parts of what we end up with. What happens is that we talk. We talk through three-dimensional experiments as well as talking about um, the different ideas or the source materials. And the, the truth is that things come up and we're not always sure where they came from or, or from whom or which image or whatever it is. But as we continue discussing the piece and what we feel about it, things recur. When researching it, Wagner says that um, the suffering of, of Amfortas should be like the suffering of Tristan in, in Act 3, but multiplied by... 10 or 100 or whatever it was he said, which means extreme. At the centre of it is a man who's suffering so much that he wants to die. He's desperate to die, and they won't let him. Of course, it's a huge magical story with these many layers and a woman who's, who's been cycling in a rather Buddhist way through, not like a Buddhist, but in a kind of Buddhist interpretation, she's been cycling through lives for, for millennia. But we wanted to find something which is just common to everybody, common but extraordinary, and this idea of being with somebody who's suffering so much that they want their life to end and you can't or won't let them really struck us because both of us had had that experience recently of you know, not ready to let somebody go, but they really needed to go. And, and that is an extraordinary experience for any of us, and probably most of us here have had that. It's, an, it's a very common extraordinary and that idea really resonated with us, and we wanted to grip it and tell that, uh, find that character, find that ordinary, difficult, impossible uh, situation, and the, a situation that's so extreme that it pushes everybody into area, emotional areas they didn't know they had, which is, by the way, what I think that Wagner does in this opera. Alison, there is quite a lot of red. There is, and we, have, we do have a great stain and that image recurs throughout the piece. And you'll see it recurs. Sometimes it's painted and it's tangible and it's there, and sometimes it's provided by the um, video designers. I'm curious for each of you to know if there's one character in it that you feel most connected to, most interested in their development and their, and their journey. Well, I think, I think the surprise for me was Kundry how intangible she is and how elusive she is and how she can live in different times in different places, appear, disappear and, and weave through the whole piece and, and have huge responsibilities and yet none. And I, I, I don't know, I, I'm very caught up with her, but I'm caught up with all of them. All the way through, we're trying to find the humanity of each character and the need of each character. What are they trying to do? Because the story, or with all its laden symbolism and all the rest of it, as far as I'm concerned, as far as we're concerned, and also the cast, is about human beings, even if they've lived many lives, crunching into each other with their, with their different stories. And even Klingsor, this so-called baddie, He's somebody else who's really searching for some kind of connection with the divine, and he's got it wrong. That was a bad mistake, <laughs> to not read the small print that says, if you castrate yourself, you still can't come in. <laughs> we must leave it there. Thank you, Stephen Langridge and Alison Chitty. Very much indeed.